Next up, getting ready to take on stage three is a 15-year-old from Kennesaw, Georgia. He will be a sophomore in high school this fall and represents Ninja Quest. Please put your hands together for Brooks Bieber. Four athletes remain. This young man is the epitome of speed. There's not going to be a whole lot of opportunities for speed on this course. It is all about grip and endurance. Merck's been <laughs> giving a headbutt to coach Michael Johnson. Like, totally called Michael Jackson in stage two because I am extremely tired. And Brooks is taking a easy, straight-armed approach on those nunchucks. Really, the first three obstacles, nothing that you're going to see any of these elite male athletes fail on, but really just more to tax your grip, make you tired. And you do see uh, Brooks moving with a little bit more of an aggressive pace um, than we did see some of the other athletes moving through those first couple of obstacles. Onto the center court cliff, making that first tough vertical, or uh, lateral, excuse me, transfer. Then is this big jump, a second lateral transfer, and of course they'll still be hanging when they do that reverse grab. Now I'm not totally sure how Brooks's cliffhanger ability is, I more know him for speed. Ooh, and did you see that? His body was swinging out to the side. He had a lot of momentum. He's moving quickly. Um, well, he knows that beating, if you don't beat reverse grab, it's kind of irrelevant how fast you go. So you might as well rest uh, and not able to get the grab. He currently sits in fifth place and I, three athletes remain. I think that grip was there, but that momentum he had just peeled him right off the front.